Let's take a look at simplifying a complex fraction. So uh, the word itself, complex fraction, kind of intimidates people, um, but really it's not that bad. Complex fraction just means, it doesn't really mean it's that complex. It just implies that there's a fraction on the top and a fraction on the bottom. So actually I don't think there has to be a fraction on top and on bottom, it just means you have a fraction in one of the parts. A normal fraction would look like this, two thirds. But if you take out the two or the three and you put a fraction in that part, so take out this two and make it one half over three, that's called a complex fraction. It's just a technical term. So if we want to simplify this complex fraction, nobody likes to have fractions in the numerator at the top or the denominator at the bottom of a fraction. To simplify it out, all we do is very simple. All we do is we take the inverse, the reciprocal, that is, of this number. So that would be 4 thirds. Reciprocal is the technical term. It means just flip it. You multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom number and you have to do it on the top as well. In a fraction, to keep a fraction equivalent or equal, all you need to do, you need to multiply whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top as well. So to eliminate this, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. The reason we do that is because 3 fourths times 4 thirds, the threes cross cancel, the fours cross cancel, Eliminating that, making it just 1 on the bottom. On the top, we get 1 times 4. We could actually cross-cancel here, but we won't in this case. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. So I get 4 over 6 over 1. Now, in a fraction, when you have over 1, you really don't need it. So we can actually eliminate that part. So the answer is this complex fraction actually just simplifies to 4 sixths. And of course, anytime you can reduce, you should. So 4 sixths can divide the top and bottom by 2. And that's why we get 2 thirds. If I had cross-canceled way back here, that would have saved me an extra step.